Hi everyone, Hannah here. Welcome back to the channel. For anyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah. This video is the Shop Disney haul. I know it's a little bit overdue, but there we go. I have one, two, three, four, five items, and I don't know what I've done with the receipt. So if the price isn't on them, apologies. This one was £9, though. I got this pin. I don't believe I've seen this pin before. It's Giselle from Enchanted, and she's just beautiful. I love the Enchanted film, obviously look at her dress her dress is kind of covered in glitter she's just beautiful so this one was nine pound i do have the enchanted book as well it's down there though i can't quite reach it so i might have to do like a mini enchanted display so i'm starting off with a pin i'm gonna pop it there for now just next to a pink lounge fly this mug now this mug was on sale so if i remember correctly there was no price on there but does it have a price on the bottom? Now, I can't remember if this was the sale price or not. £14. I have a feeling it was one of those, if you spend so much, you can get it for a cheaper amount. Disney paper! So I'm not 100% sure, and me being me, don't have the receipt, which isn't great. But look at this. It's the most beautiful pink colour. And it says love, but the O of the Mickey... The O of... The, the O is a Mickey. Excuse me. The O is a Mickey... And it's like a pastel pink colour and then a slightly darker pink for the rest of the letters with like a white bottom. This side is just plain and the inside, oh the inside is a lovely pink as well. It's just a really nice mug and I just really liked it. I don't have that many mugs but this one's very substantial. That's a thought. Is it dishwasher safe? I think it's dishwasher and microwave safe because there's not a line through the pictures. So we're going to go with dishwasher and microwave safe which is even better but it's beautiful see even that could display next to the pink lounge fly with the giselle pin so it was either 14 pound or a little bit less but there we go a beautiful mug they had so many new mugs there i don't have like i said i don't have that many because i tend to just drink hot chocolate but sometimes you just gotta have a lovely mug next i'm gonna go with this one next okay price this one was 50 pound and it is from the Frozen 10th Anniversary Collection. I saw this in Walt Disney World and I regretted not getting it. So when I saw it in the Disney store, had to be done. Which is why I've gone Elsa today. It's the Frozen 10th Anniversary Elsa jacket. We'll start with the back. And it's Elsa. There's not really much more to say. And it is from, because it's the 10th Anniversary of Frozen, it's Frozen 1 Elsa. My personal favourite is Spirit Elsa from the end of Frozen 2, but I still love Elsa. And she's all across the back. Are there any embroidered parts on the back? Let me see. I think all of this part is printed on. Where's the tin? Oh no, the snowflake just there. So all of Elsa is like printed on. However, the snowflake around the tin, that part is embroidered in. Slightly shimmery. We have arm detail too. There is a snowflake there, and then two there. They are embroidered in as well, on that sleeve. That is the left sleeve. Oh, and it's the same on the right. Same on the right sleeve. Snowflakes galore. Look at this inner lining for the hood. Look at this. It is, it's as soft as it looks. Love it. I will try it on for you in a moment. The front, let me just zip that up. So the front part, we have Elsa again. This part, that's all printed in. We have Elsa in 10. She is printed on just there. And we have some pocket detail. What is it? Is it just that part? It is. So it's just the front. What's that left? Right. Who else does this? L, left, right. I'm an adult. The front right hand pocket also has those kind of stitched and embroidered snowflakes. And it's the most beautiful it's kind of like this really isn't it like an ice blue color now i went with what did i go with the, these labels confuse me i went with a medium so i'm going to quickly pop it on so I, hopefully this angle is okay i went with a size medium because i've got a few other disney parks jackets in small and i can't really wear a jumper under, i mean i can wear a jumper underneath them but it's then very snug so i wanted obviously something that i could wear more layers underneath because I'm always cold, I need to lay you up. So, I am five foot one and a half, very important half, and this is the medium. I also love it when I can kind of keep my hands in 
the sleeves, that's just how I prefer it. And I'm normally UK size 8 to 10, so this is the medium. It is oversized, but that was through choice, so I can put other things underneath. I would say it fits true to size, so if you normally do get a small from Disney and Disney Parks, a small would fit, because I know things like spirit jerseys are more oversized, but this one I would say definitely is kind of like a more true to form sort of fit. I just love it, and now that I've shown it, it means I can detag it and start to wear it. So, appropriately, to go with Elsa, if you did see that Shop Disney video, just before I got to the checkout, somebody said to me, buy me Hannah. Who am I to refuse Olaf? <laughs> the price, oh there's no price on this one. Oh I don't remember. They don't have the prices on all of them. I have a feeling he was around £24. That is a little bit of a guess, but he also has the Frozen 10th Anniversary tag because he's for the Frozen 10th Anniversary. His name is Olaf and he likes warm hugs. I like warm hugs because I'm always cold, so warm hugs very appreciated. Now he does have some snowflakes on him, so just here he has like a silver embroidered snowflake. And this side he has another silver embroidered, embloid, em, eh, blah, 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 embroidered snowflake. Excuse me. Also... Hopefully it's going to come up. He does shimmer, so he has kind of like silver flecks in the material because he's a shiny, glissery, glissing, glissery, glistening. What's going on today? Snowman. Excuse. But he's also holding a little snow I mean, just look at their faces. They are utterly adorable. You just can't not smile when you see their cute little faces. I love it. See? Oh, he's a bit too big to be a shoulder pal, but it's just adorable. I love him so much. He is the most wonderful snowman, actually. Would he fit there? Maybe? He might be a little bit too big to go there. I'm going to have to see what I can do. I'll pop him... No, I'm going to pop him there for now because he's going to fall. Right. Now, this is not mine. This is a gift. The original price... The original price was £80 and it was reduced down to £30 and I found out from someone who was up in the D350 section that it was reduced on the day we went. So, we're not to. £30 though for a lounge fly? It is baffling that it was kind of like, that must be near cost price. It is from the Disney Decades. Is there a, oh there is a story. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's okay. It's all in different languages, but it has the same header. So there is a quick story inside. Premiering on December 18th, 2015, Star Wars The Force Awakens continues the epic saga of the last known Jedi, Luke Skywalker. Also 2015? It was that long ago. That makes me feel very old. Anyway, in search of Luke, a new galactic threat known as the First Order aims to conquer the galaxy upon his capture and destroy all opponents in their path. General Leia's attempts to find her brother and Luke are compound her brother Luke are compounded when the First Order emissary finds BB-8, a droid who is the key to his whereabouts. Old friends Han Solo and Chewbacca are joined by Finn, FN2187. One of those things I just remember. Where did I get to? A former First Order stormtrooper and Rey, a Jakku scavenger, to find Luke and restore balance to the Force. Star Wars: The Force Awakens received a BAFTA award for best achievement in special visual effects. I like that. There's also another section. I am just going to read it really quickly because it's in the tag. Disney Decades. Travel back in time through the last 100 years of the Walt Disney Company with this enchanting limited series. Crafted by Disney artists, this collection offers a chance to celebrate our most beloved characters and how they come to life on screen. From the 1920s onwards, every decade captures hearts and imaginations all over again. Go on a magical journey through the years with all the pieces that embrace the dreamer in all of us. Lovely. Now to the backpack, which by the way, have I, got, I haven't got one tanned, is Mahoosive mini backpack size. It, it won't even fit, oh that, see it's gone off the screen, it won't even fit. That's touching the bottom of there. Look how big this is, this isn't a mini backpack or a midi, this is a massive backpack. But it's the Star Wars triple pocket for the Disney 100. It is quite nice. It is a gift. I'm not going to say who for, so keep guessing with the three scenes on there. I do really like... Do we have BB... Oh, we, look, we do. We have Ray and BB-8 at the bottom just there. 
I really like it. So there's different scenes. The sides are plain on all of them. The bottom is also plain and black. And the back here says Star Wars The Force Awakens. Just there on the bottom. Okay, I'm going to show myself up, aren't I? So is this Poe? Obviously Kylo Ren. Who is this? Is that supposed to be Luke? Maybe, with Kylo? They don't meet like that, do they? Or do they? Do I need to re-watch the film? I'm going to embarrass myself now, aren't I? But then we have Ray and BB-8 at the bottom. We're going to have a look at the inner lining. I will have a look in the pockets as well, just to see if this design continues into the pocket. There's going to be so much packaging in this. Sorry for the noise. Excuse the noise. Because it's so big. Oh, there we go. Massive packaging. Ooh, okay. I like how they've done this. So it's like rectangles of the full scenes of these on the inside all together. You see those, and they're beautiful colours as well, like the orange, blues, and greens. They're really nice. So we'll quickly see if <laughs> it continues down here. It does! massive bit of foam oh. see because it's so big and it's a squishy bag okay so the top part is the same as the inner lining with all of them however this side it does then continue down and it says star wars the force awakens in that front pocket so we'll check the next one just to make sure oh and it does the same again so this side of the pocket continues with the same as the inner lining, but then this side continues that design that is on the front. I do like it when they do that. I really do. I'm going to put all the packaging back inside it, so I'll do one quick 360. See, I normally hold it quite close. I need to hold it like here, don't I? Because it's so big. I need to get all of it in the frame. Oh, and I've just noticed as well, Disney 100 Decades up top. La, spin, spin, spin don't know which my favourite is. I'm really glad that I now have that Elsa zip-up jacket. However, I really love this mug. I love the love mug, which is perfect for Valentine's Day coming up. Although, personally, I'm more excited for Pancake Day because I love a good pancake. I tend to have... See, I change my mind. One, I tend to have about three pancakes before they get a bit filling. I'll have sugar on the one, I'll have syrup, and then I'm a bit naughty and I have sugar and syrup. What do you have on pancakes? So I know some people have things like peanut butter spread or Nutella type spread, jam on pancakes, lemon. I personally hate lemon, so no lemon is going anywhere near my pancakes. But let me know in the comments what your favourite item is and what do you have on your pancakes? And is there anything weird and wonderful that maybe I should try? Not lemon though. Not doing that. But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!